you know i've got an idea how could how we could spend tonight if you're interested and that's what and what's that i'll show you why fairy tales were written by adults It's your boy Dips and Dips to the MO Back at it like a crack at it with this mathematic soft fabric So I do course steady And welcome to another episode of Find Love or That's right And with today's episode We're gonna have to go pick through the last three We're gonna go through our last three dates If you didn't miss If you missed the last last episode, bruh It revealed so many So much shit Which I'm not gonna put a spoiler up But I will tell you Put a flashback, Damo. <laughs> anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Wanna see? For me, I I motioned for her to follow me into the mansion. I got a surprise for her, word. I asked Kat to pull a few strings and well, we have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Oh my. Violet looked at me like with childlike wonder in her eyes. She get to be her, that's dope. Let's get right to it then. Why don't we? I can't wait to share this with other with the others. But first, Damo, would you mind testing it? I want to test something else. You feel me? I can put the cream on your cream, and we could do a lot of Sunday shit. You heard? We shut the fuck up. Did I say no? That shit crazy, right? But let's get into it, man. Let's get these last three dates out the way. Let's see what's popping off in the atmosphere. Let's see what's popping with the population. You hear me? Cat. Who is gonna be? Let's go with Scarlet. Scarlet. Can't say I'm surprised there. You're two birds of a feather. Yeah, because you ripe your memory away too, bitch. Here's to hoping you both have a day you'll both remember for a change. What? <laughs> it's funnier when you're not an am amnesiac. Amnesiac. That's funny. <gasps> Sorry. Oof. I'm thirsty. Hey, she's in the living room. Nah, she's in the library looking real good with the rose color and the big bubs. <laughs> bubs. I found Scarlet in the same place I met her. She was engrossed in a book with a pile of books next to her. They looked worn, as if they'd been read over and over through the years. Hey there, Scarlet. What you reading? Hi, Damo. Just an old fairy tale. Really? I'm surprised you'll be reading something. That would throw science out the window. <clears throat> I'm a woman with va I'm a woman with varied tastes. I quite like these stories, especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called The Princess of Avaranda. Where did I hear that before? I heard that shit somewhere before. The Princess of Avaranda. Oh, <gasps> that's the, one of the books I think. Um, Cat had me. Gr 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 English, motherfucker, do you speak it? That's one of the books that Cat <laughs> told me to grab when we was in that la when we was in the last situation when she was t teaching. Oh, this is the books that we had to go through, and I got to do this and it's decipher this and all that dumb shit. Really? It's silly. I doubt you'll be interested in it. Try me. I smiled at her. She smiled back at me in kind. Okay, I don't see why not. Hey, look up, look up. Look at Scarlet, man. Looking all sensual, you heard? You feel me? She looking all fine on that couch. Why can't I bring her? Why is she the one that's gonna help me with my, the other girl? So really, who's really my soulmate, bruh? Anyway, there's a young girl, Nera, who was the princess of the kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Unlike the princesses before her, she had no time for politicking or parties. She spent all her time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and her friends. Oh, she's like you. Like a robot dog that would eat the vegetables they didn't want to eat. Oh, I gotta try my hand at this sometime. Scarlet giggled like a child. Never was a blissfully happy childhood. <clears throat> Has a blissfully happy childhood. She even falls in love with a commoner named Aloria. <clears throat> Though her kingdom would never approve of their relationship, Never and Aloria never failed to see each other in secret. Every night by the crooked trees in the western forest. Is this book about where we at? But those days don't last. One day her mother, the queen, is taken by a witch. What? <clears throat> never to be seen again and never is forced to become 
queen at the age of 16. 16? Remember Sweet 16? I mean, that's not, not Sweet 16. Um, no, it was Sweet 16. Sorry. And and her mother's absence never does her best to lead the kingdom. And for years, it prospers. She likes no other leader they had before. Let me turn this down. But secretly, she wants to leave. As queen, she has no more time for the things or people that she loves with all her heart. She cries every night alone. Oh, that's like you. But she knows that she can't. Too much responsibility falls on her. That one day, never is cursed by the same witch that took her mother and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom. Oh, this really is about you. Everything except a for Aloria and the desire to leave. And so she leaves and no one in the village ever sees her again. Oh. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening to now. Oh, uh, come on. Believe me, Scarlet. I want to hear the, how this ends, especially because you liked it so much. I looked deep in her eyes, and I could tell just how much she loved this story. Well, there's really not much left, but well, Nara and Aloria lived a wonderful life in a neighboring kingdom for many years. But one day, she remembers everything and rushes home worrying for her people. When she gets there, she sees her people have been ruled by the same very witch who took her memory and that her people no longer prosper the way they did under her rule and anger never confronts the witch on the border of Avaranda. the witch takes off her cow revealing herself to be never's mother the lost queen sick never's mother gives her an ultimatum she can return to ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again, or she can leave now and never come back. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what choice never makes. That's quite the cliffhanger. I want to know what happens next. Believe me, me too. I'm curious. What would you do in their shoes? For the love of my life? I'm a dude though, so I feel like my responsibility is to take care of my people if I'm the, the king there. But then I lose the person that really makes me and understands me. So do I be unhappy a ruling king? Or do I happy um foreigner to my own nation? Hmm. I leave, fuck that. <clears throat> I think I'll leave and never come back. Interesting. Why is that? There's no point in living without love. See? Even if it was better for the kingdom for Nerys to stay, it would guarantee her love could never be realized. And that's just too sad. I think the same way. I love this story. Ever since I lost my memories, I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything, but sometimes you wonder, you know? Yeah. I get the same feeling too. That's just life, you know. You just have to keep going, moving forward. Yeah, you're right. I'm really happy that you're the one I get to move forward with, Damo. Oh, she's on my body. Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with right now. Right here, right now. And speaking of right now, there's somewhere I want to bring you. Oh, you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Where's that? I'll give you a hint. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Shoot. Shit. I give you a hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since you mentioned that you love fairy tales. I know this nigga did not take her to the spizzy that Violet told him. You are a mech, nigga. I respect it. Fuck is you talking about? You put me on the side of fire. I want somebody else. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to put them on fire too. You hear me? So. Oh my gosh, there's turtles down here. Turtles? She was practically dancing around the room, taking in all the sights. So is she, is she not my... I don't know. It was impossible to not, not to smile. I figured the Ocean Palace just might be a thing. Scarlet practically jumped onto me and squeezed the life out of me in a death, deathly bear hug. This is wonderful, Damo. Thank you so much. You've made it every. You made everything so special in ways I honestly couldn't believe, but you did it. And this is just the beginning, Scarlet. We're in this together. We're all in this together. When we know who we are. And Sorry. Hell, Scarlet had kissed her on the lips. You did that? Whoa. 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 
she might be it, bro. That dream must be misled. I don't know. I held, I held Scarlet and kissed her on the lips. It was like an explosion of passion that had set me on fire. And she, as she kissed me back and wrapped her arms around me, always. Yo, you. I'm like, I'm the goat. I'm the fucking goat. We spent the rest of the night enjoying a lovely dinner in a place straight out of a fairy tale with nothing but love in our hearts and laughter and smiles on our faces. I can't wait to leave this island with you, Damo. So she, I don't know. I've never been this excited, this happy since ever. How you know that? You don't remember, you don't remember shit like me? <laughs> you make me feel like I'm living in a fairy tale. Man, it's just, it's just me, man. You know, I've got an idea how I could how we could spend tonight if you're interested and that's what and what's that i'll show you why fairy tales were written by adults what yo i got a camera bro i'll be looking at that camera like a motherfucker what what do you mean is it is it a face expression showing me it's it's mr nat's time you heard it's time to procreate with the procreators you heard feel me it's trying to Trying to lay a baby in a baby, right? You know what I mean? It's, what? <laughs> I'll show you why fairy tales were written by adults. Uh, shit. And just like that, that's my last date with Scarlet. You got some cheeks, nigga. Time show goes by quickly when you bust an ass. I ain't say that, but. Do I find you here? Why is that? You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought is all. You're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't just let up yet. Speaking of which, how was your date with Scarlett today? I got some pussy. I've been on this island for 12 days. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, this shit was awesome. What could you talk about? It was the best. My connection with Scarlett is one of a kind, and there's no one I'd rather have beside have beside me than her. Being married to her would be like a dream come true. Well, aren't you a romantic Damo? You know, cat. I really want you though. You feel me? You a piece of shit, and you got something held over your head to make you a piece of shit and make you do these things. But I know outside of that, you's a good person. You feel me? All that drinking shit is because you're coping with the bullshit that Damon is putting you through. But let me help you learn you let me help you get yourself out of this situation cat purple eyed bitch um but i'm happy to hear that if it's you two i'm sure whatever you two face out there you'll be fine as long as you stick together and if she stops turning people into zombies yeah that's a conversation we have to have don't forget that in the prenup Anyway, I ask you if you're thinking of choosing her at the end, but I'd rather wait and see how it plays out. You going to stay out here for long? Nah, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Thanks, Kat. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Kat. What's up? Let's say I knew I was screwed. That there was no way of me getting out of here alive. That's the only way left for me to survive was just to run. Would you let me escape? Look at that devilish grin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the real questions, Damo. Of course, Damo. You're lying. You're fucking lying. Why didn't I escape with Yui? Huh? Why didn't I escape with Teva last time? You lying, bitch. Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? You're a liar. You liar. My character must have may have amnesia. But this nigga here? This just happened two days ago. In my world. <laughs> Alright, okay. Thanks, cat. That means a lot. It's no big deal. We stayed out for a little longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone I could just trust on my side. You can't trust her. You cannot trust her, cop. Yo, Damo man. Oh, shit. I woke up with Scarlet in my arms. After talking with Kat last night, I asked Scarlet to join me for one more midnight walk. Quote, unquote. We ended up talking for hours. Morning, Scarlet. Oh, you're awake. Hi there, Damo. She was clearly half asleep. <laughs> I want to invent something that puts this moment into a bottle forever. 
then I repurpose a factory mass produce it. Maya. Maya. Love you. Aww. She dozed off as she embraced me in her arms and held me tight. We must have stayed together for over an hour, but I wish it didn't pass by so fast. I'm so happy, you know. Why is that? No matter how this show ends, we won't be alone. What more can I ask for? I was terrified before, but now I know everything will be alright. Couldn't say it better myself, Scarlet. Anyway, Cal wants you to go on a date with someone else right now, right? Yeah, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I got an adventure to deal with them later. Whoa, 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 what was that mean? Sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing. See you later, Damo. You seductive. You like Yui. Probably. <sighs> Morning, Damo. You'll be happy to know your third date with Scarlet yesterday was pretty well received. Yeah, I got some cheeks, nigga. Not the highest rated we've had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Sounds good enough to me. For your next day, make sure you pick someone who you think the audience will respond to well. Allie. They both. Allie. Allie. So at this point, I think you're in a pretty good spot with either way. And with that, we are out of here, cuz. But how? That dream, though, bro. Scarlet was helping me get my soul, me and my soulmate off the thing. But then Scarlet feel like she the one, though. Like, you feel me? We both like the same shit. We both have amnesia. She fine. You feel me? We fuck with each other on a different type of level. She on some intellectual shit. I be on my intellectual shit. I understand her. She understand me. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand, but... Boom! All right, you guys, your boy Diff to Deal to the MO. Remember, protect your mother from the peace. Let me tell you, can't do the one do I have. Be this version of you. You can be protect this kid. Protect yourself with the bad virus. And always remember, after government, it's your boy. I love you. I love you. <clears throat> this game is getting crazy, bro. Cat's a liar. She said she gonna help me escape. But one last time I tried to escape, she ain't let me escape. Fucking liar, bitch. Um, but let's get. <sighs> let's get to it, man. This. This. This, this game is fire. If you fuck with the content, please like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Peace. You hear me?